Hi, everybody. Let me start by saying the obvious. These aren't normal times. But if there's one thing we've learned as a country from moments of great crisis, it's that the spirit of looking out for one another can't be restricted to our homes or our workplaces or our neighborhoods or our houses of worship. It also has to be reflected in our national government. The kind of leadership that's guided by knowledge and experience, honesty and humility, empathy and grace. That kind of leadership doesn't just belong in our state capitals and mayor's offices. It belongs in the White House. And that's why I'm so proud to endorse Joe Biden for president of the United States. Choosing Joe to be my vice president was one of the best decisions I ever made. And he became a close friend. And I believe Joe has all the qualities we need in a president right now. For those of us who believe in building a more just, more generous, more democratic America, where everybody has a fair shot at opportunity, for those of us who believe in a government that cares about the many and not just the few, for those of us who love this country and are willing to do our part to make sure it lives up to its highest ideals. Now's the time to fight for what we believe in. So join us. Join Joe. Go to JoeBiden.com right now. Make a plan for how you are going to get involved. Keep taking care of yourself and your families and each other. Keep believing in the possibilities of a better world. And I will see you on the campaign trail as soon as I can. Thanks. Take a look at my record, man. I extended the voting rights 25 years. I have a record that is second to none. The NAACP has endorsed me every time I've run. The war, I mean, come on. Take a look at the record. In a black neighborhood and you have the same exact house as the guy across the street in a white neighborhood has, your house is valued significantly less than the white. The same exact house. I have more people supporting me in the black community that have announced for me because they know me. They know who I am. Three former chairs of the Black Caucus. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. Say it again. What do you have to lose? Look, what do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. 58% of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose?